Hello? Hi. Oh, my hair looks crazy. Hello. Nice to see y'all. I don't really know exactly what's going on. I kind of know. So I'm trying my best, and if I do things that are weird, I'm sorry. I am just getting acquainted to this place. Um, I thought I'd just come on here and say hi to everyone here on Weverse because um, I just made my account, and yeah. Um, I'd love to hear where everyone is from. Tell me what country you're watching from. I'd love to see. And I also have some of your guys' fan questions, so I'm gonna try to look through those and see what you guys have to say. These better be good questions, okay? How's everyone's day? <laughs> Someone says, oh, several people from Mexico. Hi. Philippines, Peru, England, Jamaica. What? That's cool. I've never been to Jamaica. Ecuador. Wow. Georgia. The state or the country. <laughs> Illinois. Um, I made this shirt today. It's a little bad, but it's also a little good. There's a really messed up part on the bottom, but we're just gonna ignore that. You can't even see that, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, let's see. I have uh, quite a few questions here. I have my iPad like a big iPad baby, and I'm ready. Okay, Anna says, when you wrote the track Found Heaven, how did you know it was going to be the album name? Great question, Anna, no clue. I don't know, I just liked it. I was like, this makes sense, this is the album. Not much thought behind that, I, I don't think much, I try not to think too often. Maddie says, Conan, if you could eat anything that isn't edible, what would it be? <gasps> Found Heaven Target exclusive version, Teardrop Blue. It looks like Gushers. Wait, also, I have, I have a vinyl here that we can open up. Lots of good. Oh. Here we have Found Heaven Transparent Yellow Vinyl Edition. This one's a good one. This is the good one. Uh, would, I also haven't seen this one, Electric Storm. This is Urban Outfitters, but since this is international, you guys, not everywhere has an Urban Outfitter, so I'm not gonna choose that. I'm gonna open this one. Okay, shall we open? I don't know if I've, have I opened one of these yet? I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's find out. For those of you who don't know what gushers are, uh, my hair looks crazy. Um, gushers are like gummies that have like liquid inside. That sounds so unappetizing, but I can't think of any other way to explain. It. Here's the sticker. I love the sticker. I always keep the sticker. If you don't, if you, if you're gonna buy vinyl, you gotta keep the sticker. It's a, it's, it's a, it's necessary. Oh no, I'm having trouble. This isn't good, guys. This is this is bad. This is bad. <gasps> no. No, no, no. No. End the live. This is bad. It's not working. <gasps> okay, wait, I fixed I fixed it. Oh, I'm a genius. Oh, I can't believe y'all ever doubted me. I'll I'll wear it on my shirt for now. Okay, so here's the front, here's the back. 
Ta-da! Wow. Honestly, this one kind of looks delicious too. Ready? Ready, ready, ready. Deli Wait, I have not seen this yet. Wow. <gasps> wow. It's beautiful. I just want to take a bite. Guys, don't you think if you took a bite of this, it would be taste like delicious lemons? No. 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 Oh, I want to take a bite so bad. No, that's stupid. Self-control. Okay, this goes in here and then here. Wow. This is the poster that, this one's just, this, just, this one's all yellow. Whoa, well that's me. Y'all, I'm so tired of seeing my face. I've seen so much of my face for the past two months. I never need to see my face again. Here's the poster. It's very big. I love it. Can I do the rest of the live like this? I'm tired of seeing myself. Is this okay? I've seen enough of myself. Okay. I will look at myself, but it's only, it's only, oh, I don't know how to close this. Successfully folded. All right, here we have this. May, do you guys want to see the Urban Outfit? I haven't seen it yet either, so I kind of am curious. I'm curious. There, I saw a lot of people come to the U.S. Uh, maybe I'll read some questions first. Okay. Hmm. Catalina says, what emotions do you most often aim to evoke in your listeners through your music? Hmm. Either extreme sadness or just a really stupid, silly little feeling. Do you have any goals regarding how people perceive your songs? Nah, I'd just be writing them. I don't really think that hard about what people are gonna think. Catalina also says, what is your favorite place to write new lyrics or compose music? Do you have a particular space that gives you the greatest creativity and inspiration. I've never been asked that in my entire life. Or maybe I have, I don't know. Um, I like to write songs on the floor, right there. I'm not gonna show you because my house is dirty. But I like to write them right there. On that little spot on the floor, I put all my blankets and I put, and I put them on the floor and then I write there. Do you, uh, oh, and then, or sometimes at my piano, but I don't, I've not really been writing on the piano lately. I'm not very good at piano. Super Egg Julie says, what drives you to continue making music? I don't know. I just always have done it. It's like, I, I don't know. What drives you to wake up every day? I don't know. I just wake up. I've always done it. I, it's just how I journal. Like, I don't really journal in, in a notebook anymore because I just write songs about my life. I just like it. It's the greatest thrill. It's my purpose for being on earth. I kind of have no other purpose but that. What Found Heaven song are you most excited to sing live? Oh, good question. Hmm. Bourgeoisie, this is gonna be really fun. If, if everyone's screaming, oh, it's gonna be so good. I'm so excited for that. That'll be really good, guys. I am excited for that. Mm, maybe like... Uh, Eye of the Night's gonna be good. Fainted Love's gonna be really good live. What is your favorite performance outfit you've worn for this era so far? I loved my outfit.
for outside lands. The leather, oh my gosh, never looked cooler in my life. But I was so sick when I was doing that and it was such a bad time, so I'm glad it's over. But I looked good. How did you find what makes you happy? Uh, I don't know. You don't have to be happy all the time. You can be happy sometimes and you can be really sad other times and it doesn't matter. You just have to let yourself feel. That is the most important thing. When did you, Love Stay says, when did you decide you wanted to be a singer? I must have been like maybe nine, nine or 10. But I never really thought I would ever do it. I just kind of started writing, but it was just for me. And then maybe once I kind of like turned older, I was like, oh, maybe I could do that. But I don't know if I ever decided, it just kind of happened. It was really weird. I wasn't supposed to do this. I was just supposed to like be, a, be in college or something. But now I'm here in front of you guys and I'm so happy. I hope this is working. The comments are so hard to see. Put my questions down for a while. Read some comments. Do you guys remember this song? I've got tired eyes, a black sky, like in this home under my lash line. You keep on crying, babe, I don't mind. I keep on staring at the clock, trying to pass time. And my life, it flies by faster than you could say I love you goodbye. You keep on, you, you say, Something, something, huh? Faster than you could say, I love you goodbye. Something about time passing, say with a sigh. Will our lives be better when we make it to the other side? Something that got got too caught up in the prom got prom queen. Oh my god, I don't actually don't remember. Hmm. What song on the album were you most afraid to release? Um. I was really nervous of what people were gonna think of Bourgeoisie's when the album came out because it's just so weird. It's like so weird and it's so different from anything I'd ever done before. So I kind of thought people were gonna hate it, but then people loved it and I was, which is kind of nice to know that I'm not crazy. I thought it was so fun. Um,
I'm in a relationship. Any advice, says Ray Pate. B, just communicate. Talk about your feelings. If you don't talk about your feelings, you ain't gonna survive. You just gotta talk about your feelings and be honest and be kind and empathetic and understand that everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, just communicate. Ask questions. But it's hard. Sammy says, how do you practice self-care, especially during stressful times, such as album releases, concerts, and breakups? I don't find concerts stressful, I find them exciting. Like, I just can't wait to go out there and see you guys, and um, I get really nervous before, but it's because I care. Um, touring can be a little, like, tiring on the body, though. I always get sick, which sucks, but maybe that won't happen with this one. Um, but album releases I find very stressful, and I don't know how I manage my stress. I just, I just don't, and then I go crazy. It's, yeah, I've just been losing my mind for two months. Breakups, you just gotta let yourself be sad. Tata says, are you coming to Brazil for the tour? I'd love to, so if you guys would like me to come, please let me know. But no plans yet, but I'd love to. I love Brazil. Brazilian people are so loving and so passionate. Josette says, first vinyl you bought. What was the first vinyl? Let me really think. I honestly think it was In the Lonely Hour. Is it called In the Lonely Hour and the Darkest Hour? In the Lonely Hour by Sam Smith? I believe. Because I was, my first concert ever was Sam Smith. Uh, I was like 13, 14. Um, oh, look at my hand. Um, and I bought a final, I think I bought it there. And I also bought a poster of Sam that's on my wall. That was on my wall my whole teens. Just Sam watching over me. Thank you, Sam. But when I signed my record deal, um, I signed my deal, signed it, and then I went across the street and I bought Dolly Parton's Jolene and a toothbrush. Yes. I cry, I cry says, what do you think of the fandom name Coneheads? You know, people have resisted it for many, many years, and finally they've decided it's the one. I always said, it's not my job to decide. It's y'all's job to decide. And everyone resisted Conan's for so long, but you know what? At the end of the day, it's just the most memorable one. It's the most catchy one. You know, fandom name, if it's like too like cutesy, it doesn't work. It's got to have like a little bit something that's a little like something to it. Conan's is the one. I know you guys act like it's not the one, but it is. You can't lie to yourself. Don't lie to yourself. It's just the truth. And here's the thing about me. I'm not cutesy. Like, Conan's makes perfect sense for me. Like, have you ever met me? Like, it, of course. Of course it's Conan's. It's not Coniacs or Conies. Yeah, right. Don't lie to yourself. You know, Coneheads has just the right amount of chaos for it to work. And y'all came up with it, so if you don't like it, that's your own fault. I picked you up from the corner store your eyes were red and your lips were torn So much to say that's 
the subjects for so much a change since you were born. You wrapped your fingers around my neck and pulled me into your desperate breath. The way you kissed me hard and fast, I knew it'd be the last. Don't leave me hanging alone again. Don't leave me hanging alone again. I let you go, go, Holly Rose. Oh, where'd you go, go, go? You told me I'm just so nervous, dear. Well, how the hell do you think I feel? I waited all year at your feet Like maybe you'd love me So don't leave me hanging alone again Don't leave me hanging alone sound insane I ran my fingers through your hair and I thank God to touch the flame cause I swore necks were made for bruising I swore lips were made for lies and I thought if you'd ever leave me that I'd be the reason why and I don't even care if it's just a summer fling if it's all experimental and you go back to save your things but I swore hands were made for fighting Swore eyes were made to cry But you're the first person that I've seen It's proven that might be a lie So Don't leave me hanging alone again Don't leave me hanging I'm done singing that. <laughs> okay, let's see what other questions you guys have for me, you weirdos. Hmm. Ra Rayleigh, Rally. Rayleigh says, do you play Roblox? I don't play Roblox. I don't really know what's going on on Roblox, but you guys are gonna have to teach me about Roblox. If found heaven were a coffee, what would it be? Hmm. That is a good question. I think it's black coffee in a disposable cup uh, or diner coffee in a white mug. It's either one of those two. But think like, it's the 80s, there's been a murder in the small town, and they've brought in a detective from DC to do the undercover work because the local sheriff just could not handle it. And uh, he comes in and he's eating cherry pie and he's drinking a cup of coffee in a diner. And that's the kind of coffee that found happiness. I'm tired. It's my bedtime. Grace G says, what's your favorite song on Kid Crow? I've answered this question so many times. It's Heather. It was Heather from the second I wrote it. I wrote Heather and I was like, this is my favorite song on this album. And then it wasn't even a single. And it just, my album came out and then everyone liked it. And I was like, I told you guys it was the best song on Kid Crow. 
And people shit on it all the time because it became mainstream or whatever the fuck. Remember that it's my most popular song. People shit on it. And I hate that because it's my favorite song. I love that song so much. It makes me so upset when people shit on it just because a lot of people listen to it. Because have you ever thought maybe people listen to it because it's good? I love that song. It means everything to me. It makes me sad when people make fun of it. The monster under your bed says, Conan, do you like K-pop? Um, if so, what groups? In parentheses, just wondering, since this was originally a K-pop app when I joined. I believe it's still a K-pop app, um, but uh, I was told about it, and I came on here, and I don't really know what's going on on here, but it seems like a fun little place. Uh, But I love K-pop. Oh my god. Back to the original question. Love K-pop. Good vibes. They know how to dance. They know how to sing. They know how to smile. They're much better doing live streams than me. Uh, my live streams are boring as fuck. I'm just here. I don't even know if I'm allowed to curse on here. Let's see. Oh, what are these? I just clicked something. What? No, I don't I don't know what that is. That that's that's confusing. Wait, maybe I'm gonna try. Start. Yep. Oh no, that's not working. Oh well. I'm gonna read some of your questions here. Oh, and they said, oh, what what groups do I love? I love Blackpink. I'm a blink for real. Blackpink. Um, and I saw them perform several times in my life, and it was really magical. And um, Blackpink in your area hit you with that do-do-do-do-do. What's your coffee order? Currently my coffee order, well, it depends what the weather is. It's kind of hot, so sometimes I get something iced, but I've really been liking a flat white lately. Um, or just iced black coffee, you know? Someone said there's filters. What kind of filters? Are they silly ones? Someone said, Conan, I shaved my head. What am I supposed to do about that? Someone says, Conan, do you think you'll still get a sweater for Heather Day this year? I'll try my best, but I don't know. Dating is hard. The problem with dating is it's all about nuances and about assumptions. I'm not good at that. Like, I just need people to tell me exactly how they feel about me. I don't even care if it's brutally honest. Like, like, I'd much, ra much rather someone come up to me and be like, Hey, I like you, kinda, but I also think you're a little ugly. Instead of being like, you're so wonderful, can't wait for our next date, and then never talk to me ever again. Like, the, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I need, also, I'll never assume someone likes me. I have no clue that someone likes me until they sit me down and they're like, I like you. I'm in love with you. And I'm like, oh, cool, okay. And then I have to like, think about it, I'm like, I guess I'm in love with you too. But like, I, I, I can't read signals. Uh, don't, don't throw signals at me. I won't be able to read them. Those are my qualms about dating. Very confusing. Not good at that. Favorite Chapel Roan song? It's Kaleidoscope. Really underrated. Kaleidoscope is one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard in my life. And I wish everyone would listen to it. Conan, do you miss Japan? I do miss Japan. I need a shake musubi ASAP. I went to the Japanese grocery store to try to get some, some Japanese food, but it's just not the same. Although, I do appreciate that it's there for me when I need it. 
Conan, have you seen Young Young Royals? I did. I watched the last season. It was very sad, but it was a happy ending. But it was sad to see it go. Viva la Sweden. Okay, well. I'm glad I got to spend some time with you guys on this app. And uh, thank you for coming to my live stream. Um, that's all I really have to say, but I love y'all so much. And I hope that you have a nice night. And I hope that you make a new friend this week. Okay, bye.